So I often get the question, you know, Margaret, is the pain I'm feeling in my back or in my hip or, you know, some other bony part, is it coming from my osteoporosis? Because everything they read says osteoporosis is a silent disease. I have never experienced a fracture, but I know you have. And you write about in your book, Great Bones, about feeling the pain um, before sometimes the fracture was even uh, identified. So would you mind sharing some thoughts on that and where that pain is coming from? As a general statement, I think you're correct that, that osteoporosis does not cause pain. But in certain circumstances, it, it can. It can ca cause pain in two different ways. It can cause pain due to a fracture, although a lot of fractures are silent. A lot of people do sustain thoracic or even lumbar fractures. And, and they didn't do anything. Uh, they didn't fall down the steps. They just, these vertebrae just collapse after a while and they're silent. And that's why it's so important to people to uh, look at their height and, 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 and have their uh, height measured accurately over time. Because I'm, I had a uh, person I was talking to just last week and she had lost three inches over the last you know, year, not even much more than a year. And she had no pain, wow. and, but she had multiple fractures in her thoracic spine. And that's a, cl you know, a clear sign that there's something going on when you lose height that, that quickly over, over time. Uh, the other way that people can have pain from osteoporosis, and is not that common, but it's not that rare either, is just the, the rapid bone loss that people have. And rapid bone loss can cause pain. And the reason why is because even though there's not a fracture going on, that rapid bone loss is an inflammatory reaction to some extent. And that can give people achiness in their uh, mm -hmm. spine. And when a, when a person has, like if you look at their CT lipeptide, and uh, their CT lipeptide is a bone resorption marker, and if that's way up high at 800, 900, you know, 1,000, 1,200, something like that, it's saying there's a really rapid bone loss going on and they can have achiness in their thoracic spine. That thoracic spine might be just from, from muscle, you know, loss of muscle tone and, and the forward bending of their spine and the straining of those muscles. Of course, it can be that, but it can also be a, uh, a bone loss issue from the inflammatory nature of uh, the the cytokines that are that are being produced uh, as, it, it, that stimulate those osteoclasts to break down bone. So, um, and, and I know that it is that way because you it, it, you either get that CT lipeptide down to from let's say from twelve hundred down to four hundred either through nutrition or the bisphosphonate medication, and there are back pain definitely decreases. Yeah. So by slowing down those osteoclasts, by decreasing those pro-inflammatory cytokines that are the reason for the osteoclastic activity, that will decrease their, their back pain. Um, so, so two ways, fractures, silent or active, you know, like a, you actually fell and, and, and broke something, right. certainly can give you pain, but also just a slow loss of, 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 of uh, the, the activation of the osteoclast, the slow loss of, of the um, bone mineral density itself. Uh, but yeah, a fracture can certainly put you down, and I've had many of those. Okay. And you're such a testament to coming back from so many fractures. And, uh, and really want to thank you for all of your wonderful work in your book, Great Bones, and for those who aren't familiar with the term C-telepeptide, um, that is abbreviation for CTX that you'll find in Keith's index. Um, and, you know, so if you're wanting to read about bone markers, that's really helpful to understand what's going on in your bones. So Keith, thank you again for sharing your knowledge and uh, wish thank you a lovely day. Thank you.